from an operating perspective, at least the data we're seeing is pretty positive. Um, some of the same benefits across the Mediterranean region with regard to the dislocation of, of demand, which has been driving up the resort performances. So I'm speaking more about the resort market than the urban market. So from an urban perspective, um, uh, we haven't studied it in too much detail with respect to kind of some of the opportunities in Athens. But from a resort perspective, there's definitely uh, an interesting kind of window at the moment. Um, that being said, you need to be really careful when you're going into resort space and you need to be investing in assets. Ideally, especially in the kind of markets that are one stretch beyond kind of institutional capital right now, um, you should be, I mean, my view is that you should focus on frontline assets and islands where you're very well connected. Because if you're looking at second line assets in less connected areas, when the liquidity dries up, it dries up completely. Um, and as an investor, you always need to have your liquidity in, in the assets you buy. So I think, I think there's, a, there's a window there in, in Greece, and that's to some of the comments Dirk was making earlier, et cetera, and whether all the dislocation around North Africa and Middle East is something structural or something short to medium term. I think initially people thought it was going to be short to medium term. Now people are trending towards a, this is a longer term structural shift of demand to the, to the benefit of the Mediterranean resorts, which, so Greece included, Croatia included, Spain so far the main beneficiary. So, um, no, so I think it's an interesting market, um, but you know, with some, within a framework basically.